Do you want to get review stars in your Google Shopping ads but don't know where to start or how to set them up? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. Let's go. Those stars in Google Shopping look fantastic. They really help with social proof and they increase your click-through rates. Google Shopping ads already have a really low CTR click-through rate, so adding these reviews in can give you a little bit of a boost which can pay off big time in the long run, especially when you're spending a lot of money on shopping ads every single day. If you're new here, my name is Sam from keycommerce.com and I help e-commerce store owners grow their stores remotely. I make a lot of tutorial videos, case studies, and other videos just like this one, so if this is something that might help you, please consider subscribing and you'll see what other videos I have coming out every single day. Okay, so Google Shopping reviews, Google Shopping stars is a really confusing thing to set up for a lot of people because there isn't a good resource out there. There are a lot of blogs that are written by numnums that don't actually understand the process. So I'm gonna take you through the full process here in this video so it's super clear. Okay, so the first thing you need to understand is that there are two types of reviews. You have reviews on your Google Shopping campaigns and you have reviews on your Google Search campaigns two different types of reviews. Obviously, we're gonna focus on the shopping reviews, the stars on your Google Shopping ads in this video. Okay, so what are the requirements for getting reviews on our Google Shopping ads? One, at least 50 product reviews on our store. Two, we need to sign up in Merchant Center and get access to this feature. And three, we need to have our reviews in a reviews feed in a format that Google understands and accepts. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the ways that you can do this and the benefits of each, and then I'm gonna take you through setting up both ways in your Google Merchant Center account. The first way is the free way, and that's using Google's review collection program to collect your reviews. The benefit is that it's free and it's pretty easy to set up. The negative is that you can't actually import past reviews. And this is a big factor if you already have an existing store and you have your 50 review target that you need to hit, you're gonna to have to start from zero to get those reviews into the Google Reviews Collection Program. The next negative is that it only collects reviews from customers that have opted in. I'll show you what this means in a second. The other negative, and it sounds like there's a lot of negatives, but the other negative is that it's not a great customer experience. People have to opt in and the emails they get asking them about their experience with the product isn't really nice. It's not branded, you know, it doesn't have your colors and your imagery and your fonts in there. It's not as nice as having a branded email. So depending on how deep you are with your store and how much money you're willing to invest, that's a, that's a pretty big negative for bigger stores. Okay, the second way, which is what I usually recommend for stores that are more established, is using a reviews aggregator app. What this is, it's an app that you install on your store and it's collecting reviews for you over time and then creates a feed of the reviews and sends that to Merchant Center, to Google, so they can use that in your Google Shopping ads for the reviews. I prefer this way because it's really easy to set up and it integrates really nicely with your store especially if you have reviews already. The benefit is, like I said, it's very easy to set up. The second benefit is that it gets sent to every single customer, not just the ones that opt in. The third benefit is that you can customize the email so it reflects your branding, your brand voice, and all that good stuff. It can also use past reviews that you have already. You can import reviews from other platforms like Etsy, Amazon, eBay, but it also use the existing reviews that you have in your store. Okay, the negative is obviously that it costs you're gonna to have to find a review aggregator for Shopify. I really recommend Stamp.io just because it looks fantastic, it's super easy to set up, it allows you to import past reviews, and the widgets look fantastic on your site, like your product page, your website page, and the reviews page. I'll leave a link in the description to the app so you can go and install it yourself. I use this for all my biggest stores and working with clients and it goes down a treat. The problem is if you want to create the reviews feed for Google Shopping, which I'll show you in a second, you need to be on the $200 a month pricing tier. Now this is pretty expensive for a reviews app. It does come with a lot of benefits, but I recommend this for those stores that are at that higher level. If you're not at a higher level yet, then I'll have the free walkthrough that shows you how to set it up for free without needing to pay for an app but paying for that app is gonna make a better experience for your customers. I'm gonna show you how to set up the free way first and then I'm gonna go through the paid way with stamp.io. There's gonna be a lot of different links that you might need for different parts of this setup, so I'm gonna leave a link below to a post that I've written that has the links in there all in one place you can easily access depending on what setup method you're gonna be using. So yeah, check the description for that link. Without further ado, let's get into my computer. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and now we're in Google Merchant Center. Let's get those reviews enabled. Okay, so we go 
over here to growth and then we go to manage programs. Okay, once we're in the manage program screen, you have all these extra programs and stuff that you can enable. We wanna scroll down to the very bottom and then go to product ratings. This is what you need to do, okay? You need to fill out this form here and get approved by Google before they'll let you see and upload and connect in your reviews, okay? So you need to fill out this form. So how many reviews do you have? So go to your site, check whatever review aggregator you're using uh, and get that in the, uh, and add that in there. So, and, and add in how many reviews, sorry, that you have. Name of your, your store, your merchant ID, your merchant homepage URL. Basically fill out all this stuff here. It's got all my information. <laughs> And then, but you're gonna fill out your own information uh, role. And then do you currently collect reviews on your site? Yes or no, click submit. There you go, that's how you get started. Um, you do need 50 reviews already. Um, and so put that in if you have 50 and then submit and then you're good to go. It does take some time, sometimes a day, sometimes three days in our experience. Once you get reviewed, you'll then be able to see an option in your Merchant Center account to see the reviews section basically. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. I'm now on my computer again and I'm going to show you how to activate the Google customer review collection app process sort of thing. So we're in Merchant Center right here. Let's go down to growth and let's go down to manage programs again. So we should have already activated the product ratings. Now we're going to go to the customer review section and then click enable. It's going to give you this agreement here. Make sure you read that. Uh, click I read and then continue once it loads up. Awesome. So now what it does is it gives us this code that we need to go and edit now and put that on our website. Now I've created a blog post for this video. It's in the description. Check the description for that link. Go to the blog post and I've actually edited this code for you. So it's pretty much ready to use. You just need to edit a little things before we put it on your website. Let me pull it up for you one second. Okay, so here we have the code that will be on my blog post here. And it has these variables here that are made by Shopify. So it can pull in the different details. So you see in comparison here, it's very, very similar, but it means for the order ID, it'll pull it in dynamically. So if every single order that someone makes on your website, this gets shown on the thank you page. They don't actually see this code, but there'll be a pop-up and this tells Google the right information that is required to make this whole thing work. So it pulls in all this sort of stuff here. The only thing you need to really change is firstly the merchant ID, really important. See here, it has the merchant ID. Just put in exactly what that is there. So what I would do is copy that and then paste this here. You're gonna have this code here, but it's gonna be the XXX. You're gonna change that to your merchant center um, ID. The other thing is the estimated delivery date. So what this does here is it actually creates the year, the month and the day, but based on when the order was created and then you can add a delay. So if someone orders today, you don't wanna send the review collection email today because then people are going, people are, haven't even received the product yet. So you wanna wait some time. So what I've done is I've created this Google Sheet here and you'll get access to this in that blog post and this is basically a calculator so you can put in so at the moment it's got in seven days here which is just the default in this formula what you can do here is say that even if maybe they get this they always get the product within one day you can change this to three days and then that's the total seconds and then you would just replace that there so that's how long Google is going to wait after someone orders before they send them the review email. Now that that's done, and that's gonna be, you know, you have to think about how that works for your store. Now that that's done, we then copy that code and that's all ready to go. We then pull up our Shopify dashboard right here. And then we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into checkout. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see additional scripts. Once you paste that in, that's then gonna be all ready to go. Awesome, fantastic. I'm actually gonna, that was actually a bit of something I was gonna show you in a second, but basically, yeah, there's the code there. And just take note that first time access, this is really, really great thing for Shopify. It means that if someone goes back to review the order and review the thank you page, it's not gonna reset so they receive multiple emails. They only wanna receive one email for their order. And this means that it, this will only be fired if it's the first time someone has reached that thank you page. So that's all good, boom, and then just click save, and then that's, that's activated now and that's everything you need to do to get those reviews sorted. That's all awesome. And then once it, it's uh, verified, once it's it, it, it starts collecting those reviews, you can actually test to see if your reviews are active 
by going to this URL that will be in the blog post as well and then putting in your store here. So this is one of one of um, the stores that I work with and you can see here that um, they have all these reviews that are being collected, but they're being collected by a, a review app basically. But if it's being collected by that app with Google, it's going to start showing here. So you can check that for yourself. So there you go. That's how you install the code for the free Google customer reviews collection app. Hey guys, so now I'm in Merchant Center and I'm going to set up the stamp.io product reviews feed straight from stamp.io into Merchant Center. So let's do it right now. So I'm in the dashboard here and now after after filling out that form that you've filled out earlier in this video, you should now have access to product reviews under marketing. This is exactly what we need right here. This is for product ratings. So it says your account is eligible for product ratings. Woohoo! Your star ratings will be displayed on your product listings. So they're on your Google Shopping ads. So let's go here over to product reviews feeds. I had a feed that I added in uh, earlier, but we're going to create a new one here, just like you would do. The feed name is going to be stamped.io, scheduled fetch. Awesome. The file name is going to be uh, your need. Your, well, here's what you need to get the file name. So basically, you need to log into stamp.io. I'm logged into my account right here, and then go to this URL. So I'm going to put this URL in my blog post here. Once you put that in, it then opens up the settings into the SEO section and then you can scroll down here to Google Shopping and if you've upgraded to the plan, you'll be able to access the Google Shopping reviews. Here is your feed URL. See, it's an XML file. So go back. Let's put that all the way down here. But the file name is going to be here and it's going to be uh, basically the pub key oh, and .xml. So you should get that last basically that last uh, bit of text there. So boom, all the way to XML and we don't need that dash there. Awesome. So the basically the, uh, the, the daily frequency of fetching it is going to be daily. That's fine. 12 a.m. That's just when it's going to fetch it. That doesn't matter too much. And that's going to be blank and blank. And then you're going to click create feed. Fantastic. We now have our feed imported like that. And then um, once that goes, um, is added in, it's now processing. So once it takes a few minutes, but you can also click fetch now to fetch that feed. And then it's going to tell you if there are any issues. Now, this is a feed sp specifically made by stamp.io. So if you do have any problems, you can, uh, they've got really fantastic support over there. And I've dealt with them so many times and they're really good at helping to fix these issues with the feed. So you can get it set up really quickly. They'll even go in and make edits to your feed, uh, your, your product reviews feed um, to make sure it uh, matches what Google needs. So that's how you set up the stamp.io feed. There you go. Okay, done and dusted. That was how you set up the Google review stars on Google Shopping. It may take a few days for them to start showing but that's how you do it. Pretty awesome, right? If this video was helpful for you for setting up your reviews on Google Shopping, please whack the like button. That tells YouTube, hey, this guy here, Sam, he's making good stuff for his audience. And if you have any questions about the process, if you have any problems, leave a comment below. I read and answer every single comment on my channel. I wanna help you guys build e-commerce stores better. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, consider subscribing. I put out very regular videos on how to grow your e-commerce store. And apart from that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.